Hi, Village People. Hi, Horizons. It's Lori. I miss you all so much. And with the help of my friend Kim, I'm going to be doing a 30-minute video. This first video is going to be for arthritis sufferers and for anyone who just doesn't want to keep sitting down and want to do some exercises similar to what I do in class. So there'll be seated exercises, just like class, excuse me, and also uh, standing exercises. So I'd like you to please be prepared, both safety-wise and equipment-wise. So safety-wise, I want you to just make sure that you are comfortable in your clothing, you have the right footwear on, you have um, water to sip on if necessary, because a half hour is a half hour. And as far as how you might feel in your body, don't do anything that you're going to feel um, too exhausted by, whether it be um, exhausted in, in your joints by feeling any pain or discomfort or your breathing. Um, so a good, um, a good tip about the breathing is if you can't carry on a conversation comfortably, you're working too hard. And remember with the arthritis rule, if you have any pain within the first two hours of this class, or maybe first hour because the class is cut in half, then you've done too much. But you might feel a little sore the next day. Don't worry so much about it because you probably haven't been doing much. Um, some of you are going to be watching this video on a screen in your building or perhaps in your home. Uh, but the exercises will apply to everybody. As far as equipment goes, you can get a towel or maybe you have a ball. I'm not handing out, have anybody hand out balls to you. Um, so you can substitute a ball um, with a towel. And also, for those of you who are at the village, you're going to be offered the different bands that I have in class, the long ones. So orange are the medium ones. And then if you have any shoulder issues, when you do shoulder exercise, upper body exercises, those tan ones could be also used. Um, in that case, grab two because upper body might need a tan one, lower body an orange one. And since those again, you at the village, if you are sitting in the video room, you'll be offered those bands and there'll be plenty to go around. Okay, let's get started. So uh, sitting in your chair, whether it has armrests or not, this doesn't, but maybe you do have an armrest. I want you to just sit nice and quietly in your chair and gently take a nice deep breath in through your nose and exhale hopefully through your nose but maybe your mouth is sufficient and do that again inhale through your nose and exhale obviously I can't do both things at the same time okay you hear that Mel? you hear that Chris? inhale and exhale Good, and gently turn your head to the right and center. And don't worry about those little noises you might be hearing in your head as you turn your head one way or the other. And center. Do that again, nice and slow. Try to keep your shoulders down, not elevate them as you turn your head. And center, and turn again and center. You can do that one more time if you want. I won't know. Okay, so now turn your head again to the right and tip your chin slightly down so your eyes are focused on the floor. If you're in your apartment, it's the carpet. And gently lift your head up and turn back to the center. And turn your head again and tip your chin downward. Look up and center. Good, you can do that again if you want. I won't know. All right, bring your shoulders up, tense up, and slowly relax. I want you to feel the difference, so maybe you're going to close your eyes. Feel that in your body, because with your eyes closed, there's no distractions, and relax. And again, that, closing your eyes is an option. Just don't go to sleep, and relax. Good. Okay, so let's work a little bit more on upper body. Take your hands and I want you to place your palms so they're facing each other. And I want you to just bend your elbows very gently and straighten them out. Well, not totally straight. 
Bend your elbows and bring them all the way down along your side of your hips. And bend your elbows and bring them down. Good. Now, turn your palms forward and bend your elbows doing a bicep curl and lower your arms down. And do that again and bring them down. You can repeat this again a few more times. I won't know. Okay, I guess that's going to get old if I keep saying that. Okay, so now I want you to take your hands, turn your palms backwards, sit up nice and straight in your chair, and just bring your arms alongside your hips and behind you, but not behind you, behind you, like, you know, just alongside your, your body, and come back, and go back again. So just warming up the backs of your shoulders and your triceps. I think by now you know where those are. And bring them back again and relax. Good. Okay. So now I want you to bring your hands forward and you're going to just make a little fist with your hands and you're going to turn your wrists so they're facing inward. And instead of going straight up, okay, this is what I'm not going to have you do. I'm just going to have you go up just a little bit if you can. And Millie, if you're watching, just make sure that on your left arm you're just taking care and you're not going up so high. And come on up. I know who you all are, Mary and Barbara and everybody. Your names will come back to me as I go through this. So you notice that my elbows are bent and come on down. Good. All right. One more arm exercise just to warm up. So this is because my friend Kim taught me this. I, and she's the one that's filming right now. Your arms are going to go out in front of you. Elbows could be slightly bent. And instead of going out to the side and lifting your arms up, I want you to be a little bit forward, about 45 degrees, and gently bring your arms up, not too high, and lower them down to where you started from. And again, bring your arms up. Yeah. And bring them down. And you're going to repeat that again. And down. Remember, you don't want to have pain. If you feel fatigued, that's okay, but you don't want pain. And down. And I'm going to do one more. And relax. Because of the interest of time, I'm not going to do necessarily eight reps or ten reps. I think you get the idea. Okay, so now I'm going to move forward a little bit on my chair. All right? And I'm going to have Kim focus on my ankles and my feet for now. And I'm going to just going to lift my toes and lower them. And I'm going to lift them again and lower them, lift them again. So I'm going to do that about eight times, ten times. All right, now I'm going to turn my feet out like a duck and I'm going to do the same thing, lifting up and down. And if your hands are placed on your thighs, you're going to feel your thighs are also going to be working in addition to adding some mobility to your ankles and you lift up. So a slight contraction in your thighs as you're doing this and bring them up and down. Now I'm going to bring my feet back to where I started from and I'm going to add on. So I'm going to lift up, turn out, pivoting on my hip, oh, excuse me, on my hips. I don't think I'm doing it on my hips, on my heels and bring them forward and down. So you lift your toes up, pivot off your heels, go out like a duck, come in and down. A few more times. Come on up, Go out, come back in and down. One more time, come on up, go out, in and down. Excellent. All right, so now grab a hold of the back of your right leg with both hands. If you want, although I don't necessarily recommend it, I don't want you to hold on to your knee and pull your leg up that way. Just be careful on your hips. So be close to the edge of your chair, and hopefully no one's sitting on their couch doing this because it's going to make your back look like this, but you want to look 20 years younger, not 20 years older. Okay, and sit up. Kim's laughing. All right, so you're going to grab your right leg, and you're going to lift your leg up, bring it in a little bit towards your chest. If you're feeling any crunching inside by your groin, don't lift it up so much, and lower it down. So just bring it up for... Um, just a couple of seconds and lower it down. Start thinking about your tummy. So start pulling in your tummy just ever so slightly and lower it down. And bring it up one more time. Now I'm going to stay here and I'm going to rotate my leg around so you're just working your hip a little bit. 
Now, what I want to make sure that you're not doing is do not do this. It's not necessary to go big. It's not a contest. Just go small, about five times, that's what we usually do in class, and go the other way. You knew I was going to do that. And relax. Other uh, leg, warm it up a little bit, bring your leg in a little bit towards your, your tummy and relax and bring it in. So you're also using your arms. This is not just about your legs. Because if I let go of my leg, I'm using more of my core muscles and my back and you might not be able to do that comfortably. It's an option. Okay, so now we're going to circle. Remember, you do not want to be going all the way around and moving your body left to right. Stay nice and still and circle whichever direction you want to. Three, four, five, and go the other way. One, two, this leg is easier for me. Four and five, good, and rest. Nice. All right, scoot back in your chair. All right, and hopefully you do have a nice back to your chair. Again, I don't recommend you being on um, a soft chair or your couch. And place your hands gently behind your head. We're going to shift a little bit to our upper back. And I want you to just lean back a little bit, pull in your tummy, look up towards the ceiling, and come forward back to your neutral position. And go back again. And come up. We don't go back enough. We always go forward. So I like this stretch. And if putting your hands behind your head is too difficult, you can also, um, as an option, put your hands on your shoulders and maybe bring your elbows out that way and lean back. Or if both hands are, excuse me, both shoulders bother you, maybe you can just do one hand, the other one relax, and just lean back like that and come on up. Good. All right. So um, let's take both of our hands now and place them on the outside of our right leg and very gently turn your torso to the right and let go. Hold on to the outside of your other leg. Turn. And one more set. And turn again, and relax. Good. Okay. Now, I'm going to come forward on my chair, and I want you to grab your bands now. We're going to use some of the bands for upper body first. So I'm going to take my more difficult band. So when you came into class, or however you're going to manage to get your band from activities, Choosing your band is going to be really important. So there were also a couple of green bands. So for those of you, like for instance, Chuck or um, even Mel or um, I can't think offhand right now, um, Sheila, you might want to take a, a darker color band. Okay? If I left your name out, I'm sorry. I have a lot on my mind lately. All right. So you're going to take one foot. And you're going to place, um, excuse me, I'm going to start with your right leg. And you're going to place the band directly underneath the middle of your shoe, keeping in mind that you want to have the right footwear because even though these aren't going to slide like some of the tubing that I've used in class would, you still want to be in the middle of your shoe. All right, now, so one hand is on the outside of your right leg, and the other hand you're going to swing it out so it's on the outside of your left leg. And just relax your hands, make sure the bands are a little loose. Turn your wrists so they're facing forward so you can make the best use of your bicep curl. And let me show you if the bands are too tight, what that's going to look like. Oi, 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 oi! Uh, again, don't do this. Oi, oi, oi! Because your neighbor next door, or if you're in the video room, or wherever you might be, they're going to hear you and think like something's very wrong. So make sure that your bands are a little bit looser, so that when you pull up close to your shoulders, don't touch your shoulders, you feel like, oh yeah, I can do about 5, 10, 15 more of these. 
But if you can't move it very well on the first one, believe you me, you're not going to be able to do it on number 8 or 10. So let's go for 1. Pull in your tummy as you start the movement. 2. 3. I know you can count. Count because that way you'll also know if you're breathing well. Where am I at? 4? You know I can't count. 5. I can count, but I can't always count and talk. 6. I'm getting my workout today too. 7. 8. 9. Oy! 10. You might feel that at 10. Alright, so you use both arms. It didn't matter which foot it was on because some people will ask me, oh, what about the other foot? It wasn't about the foot. However, now it's going to be about the foot. So the foot that you have the bands under, I want you to extend that leg. Your knee is going to be pretty straight. And again, you're sitting close to the edge of your chair. Don't round over. Lift your chest. Okay? You hear that, Jerry? Okay. Now, bring your hands a little closer to your ankle. And your wrists are going to face each other. Remember before they're up, now they're facing each other. You're going to gently pull back. You don't have to squeeze your shoulder blades because believe you me, this is going to happen without even trying. And relax. And pull back again. Chest is lifted. Look straight ahead. Don't look down. And relax. And again, pull back. And relax. And do that about eight to ten times. If you feel any pain in the front of your shoulders as you're pulling back or anywhere in your upper body, you certainly wouldn't be feeling it below because you're just sitting still, then don't pull back as hard. Okay? And relax. All right, so triceps. So we did the biceps. We did um, scapular retraction, so your shoulder blades were kissing back here. I don't know who you were kissing, but anyway. So now I want you to consider doing a different exercise for your triceps. So I'm going to sit back just a little bit so I don't fall off my chair and make a fool out of myself. And I'm going to bring my feet out in front of me. If I have my feet further apart on the bands, it'll make it harder. If I bring my feet in a little closer, it's a little easier. So what you're going to do now is your arms are going to be down by your side, your wrists are facing back, and you're going to gently pull back and release. So these bands are harder than probably your bands, so this doesn't have as much give, and I'm going to pull back and relax. Perhaps if this is too hard or you feel something's going on in your back that doesn't make you feel really good, take one foot out. In fact, I'm going to do the rest of this exercise this way, and pull back and relax. Pull back and relax. And let's go for three. Wait to see what your arms are going to look like when this is all over. And four. And five. Belly in as you retract. And six. And seven. I'm not going to keep counting. but I'm going to stop at 10. Good. Okay, we can do another set of those, or in the interest of time, I won't. You will. Okay, I'm going to take the bands out, and I'm just going to stand up just to break some of the monotony. And you notice as I stood up, I placed my hands on my legs, and I'm going to have a seat again. Make sure your chair is there. That would be very helpful. And have a seat. So if you have an armrest and you need to get up by holding the armrest, push your hands into the armrest and stand up and have a seat. I totally understand those of you who might have some knee issues. So I'm going to do an exercise that doesn't require getting up and down. So I think you're going to remember this exercise because I remember what all your faces look like after doing this exercise. You're smiling. All right, so I'm going to stand up. And your option would be keep your hands down by your side or cross them over your chest. And just make sure again that your chair, it didn't walk away. And I'm going to have you go into a little squat position. 
Weight is going to be in your heels. I mean, if I wanted to, I can lift up my toes. I'm not going to demonstrate that, but I want your weight in the back of your body, okay? Head is up, looking straight ahead, and I'm going to hold that position for, oh, 10 seconds. I'm probably almost there. And then I'm going to straighten up, and we're going to repeat that again. And again, your option is to have your arms here or by your side and gently squat. Bend your knees and hips equally. I have the luxury of having a mirror, but maybe if you're doing this exercise and somebody you live with is not, they can keep an eye on your form. And then call me when this is all over and maybe your spouse can become a personal trainer. I take any age. And then I stand up. Let's do one more time. Or if that was enough, just do um, half time when I go down. And I'm going to count out. Or I'm going to look at my clock. Well, I would if it had a second hand. Oh, there it is. Second hand, 30 seconds. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. And I know if you're cheating. I know you. Don't cheat. Your thighs are going to feel like rocks at some point. Mine do. I'm walking every day. Come on, honey, let's go walk. Okay. And I'm going to stand up. All right, arms down by your side. Shake it out. All right, and just step side to side for a moment. Watch where you're stepping, standing. Okay, round two. Kim is going to film me standing up and... I'm going to go behind my chair. I haven't forgotten about the towel. We'll finish up with the towel later. Make sure that you stay hydrated. You know, I just can't do this straight. I have to pretend you're all out there and watching and having a good time. Because I'll be back in person. You just wait and see. All right, so I'm going to turn my chair around. I want to make sure that your chair or if you're standing with your walker and you have um, a chair behind you, you're not leaning over. So I'm going to turn to the side. All right. And I want you to take your right foot, please, and just step it out and bring it in. Very easy. Other leg, step it out, bring it in. Again, step it side, bring it in. So when you're stepping to the side, make sure that this doesn't happen. You're not bumping anybody in the subway. Don't do that. And just step out. Not that anyone is going to New York anytime soon, but that was what popped into my head. And over again. Good. All right. So. If we can, let's pick up the pace a little bit. Get your heart moving and jumping in your body a little bit more. Step out, come in. Step out, come in. And just keep going side to side. Okay? Keep your hands gently on your chair. Or if you don't feel that you need your chair, don't use the chair. It's not a punishment. It's an option. Over and over. And just one more set. Good. Okay, so while we're here, we're going to go up on our toes. You can sit down and do it, but if you are standing like I am, you can just go up on your toes and down. And lift and lower. Come on up. Good. And just roll to the balls of your feet. Big toe. And flat foot. And do that a few more times. Good. Okay. So how about we add a little balance in? So you're going to come up on your toes and you're going to try to hold that. Perhaps lift one hand off. If that's enough, don't go any further or your other hand. And as you come down, you can place your hands back on the chair and there you are. Let's do that again. Come up on your toes. Take one hand off perhaps. Don't be too cocky here. 
and go down. Good. All right. Let's uh, let's work now our glutes. All right. So not the big cheek, the little one, the one that's a lot to the side. Okay. So let's take our right leg, right leg, the leg that's facing the camera right now. Well, I'm facing the camera. You're sitting wherever you're sitting or standing, and you're gonna take your right leg back and in. So I'm not going to the side. That's completely different exercise. I'm going to go back a little bit and return. So if you want to feel what's going on, put your hand on your rear end, and you're going to feel that muscle contract just a little bit. Your weight is in your left leg. So that's working too, but differently. And do that again. And let's pick up the pace. For five, four, three, two, one. So again, you, you are working this glute, but you're also working the standing glute. Right, Kim? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> I defer to her all the time. All right, other leg. Turn your foot a little bit and go back uh, a little bit on an angle. One, two. Here comes Kim with the camera. Three, four, five. It's so quiet in the house. My husband went out with my girlfriend bicycle riding. I lend Raphael to all the single girls in my life. You want a bike ride? Ralph will go with you. You want to take a walk? Ralph will go with you. <laughs> and I walk with him too. And I make him breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. Oh my God, I wish somebody would do it for me. Okay. So now let's work a little bit on the backs of our legs. We're trying to get the front, the back. We're almost done, everybody. Hopefully you haven't turned me off yet, because there's more jokes to come. Okay, right leg. And bring it back in. Right leg, tap back. Now, obviously, you're, you're uh, strengthening your left glute as you're doing this, because that's where the weight is. This is getting a little bit of a different exercise. All right, so you are working the back of your right leg in your left glute because you're standing in it. But how about we pick up the pace a little bit by changing the, um, I can't think. Let's just do it. Okay, lift up, bring it down. Lift it up, bring it down. Lift it up, bring it down. Now you don't have to kick very high because if you have bad knees, you're not gonna be happy with me and you won't watch any more videos. Speaking of videos, do you know that you can go to my website and look at a lot of different videos on my website? I think you know what it is. It's Lori, L-O-R-I, Michael, M-I-C-H-I-E-L, fitness, you know how to spell fitness, dot com. And you can look at my blog slash video page. If you have nothing to read, you can read the blog, but go to the exercise videos and you'll see some other tips. All right, let's do the other leg. Starting out simple. Whoa, what the heck did I, oh, so much for the water. Tap back, bring it in. Tap back, bring it in. And three. And four. And five. What the heck? That's it. Make sure you don't trip over anything. And six. And seven. Tell me in a little bit. And eight. Or a lot. Nine and 10. So let's make it a little bit more difficult. Here we go. One, two. If you want to add balance, take one hand off. Three, four, or not. Five, six, seven. You watching this, Ram? Eight, nine, and 10. Cool. All right, so the only thing that we didn't really work on yet is the front of your legs. So, sitting down or standing, I'm going to actually demonstrate the standing first and then I'll show you the sitting. So what I like to do here is I'm going to place my hands at a nine, my elbows at a 90 degree angle, all right? Now, since I'm pretty mobile, if I bring up my right leg and touch my hand, I can do that. And I don't believe I dropped my hand, I brought my knee up. Same thing on the other leg. I lift it up, I brought it down. Now, 
If going up that high is uncomfortable for you, you're going to lower your hands a little bit. And now do your right leg, do your left leg, do your right leg, do your left leg. What I don't want you to do is do the following. I know many of you can't lift your knees up high. I get it. So start with your hands low. Don't let your hands go any lower than where you start. And just try. Lift up and then change to your other leg. Lift up. Don't cheat. Now sitting down, it would be basically the same. And I will show you that version. <laughs> I'm sitting close to the edge of my chair. I have schmutz on my leg. I thought it was the lighting. Oh well. Okay. So my hands are at 90 degrees. It should be really easy because I'm not going to be lifting very high because I'm sitting. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Okay. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. So yes, you are working your quads. You're also working your hip flexors, so all this area down here. And if you place your hands here before or after you do the exercise, whether without your hands, well, without your hands, you'll feel what's going on here. Um, sitting down and doing this might be uncomfortable because I would bet that so many of you are sitting a lot anyway. And when you sit a lot, it's just going to make things harder. Um, as far as doing other band exercises, I'm going to show you more in another time, but I did, before we go to stretching, I wanted to show you the exercises with the ball slash towel, okay? So, you're going to grab, um, I, this was the size of my towel, and I'm going to fold it in half, fold it, well, I folded it, you know, lengthwise, and then I'm going to fold it this way, and this way, and maybe in thirds. I think in thirds would be good. This is the thick towel, so I like it thicker than not. And you're going to sit close to the edge of your chair and you're just going to squeeze your inner thighs together and relax. Squeeze and relax. So do several of these and then I want you to squeeze and hold. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. La la la. And relax. And squeeze again. La la la. La la la. La la la. La la And relax. And then maybe change the tempo again and go. Some of you I know from class when I do this as a demonstration, you're doing this with your hands. That's fine. You can do that. And squeeze. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Get taller. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, or you can use a towel to wipe your brow if you're sweating. I don't think you're going to be sweating with this. Um, so you can do another set of those. Uh, the other thing that you can do um, before we move on to the stretching, I just realized this. You know, sometimes I'll take the ball and you'll place it on the outside of one leg. You do your right leg here. My left, but don't tell anybody. My feet are a little bit apart. My arm is pretty straight. And at first, I'm going to push my leg into my hand, and you notice everything just goes out to the side. Now, bring it back to the center. Now, this time, it's going to be an isometric exercise, not a lot of movement. I'm going to push out with my leg and push in with my hand. So you're bracing within this area, and also I want you to brace within your abdomen, okay? Tummy, and relax. So you're getting a lot here. You're working your shoulders, you're working your triceps, you're working your core, you're working your legs, and return. So remember, it's not out and in, it's you press out with your leg, press in with your hand and towel against your leg, and then return. You know, I, I know that I'm going to get some feedback from some of you. I would encourage you 
So if you really want me to show you two reps, excuse me, two sets of 10, I'd be happy to do that. But again, in the interest of time, you can start out with just doing one set, if that's all I'm doing, or two sets on your own, but then you might miss what I'm doing next time. So this is sort of a semi-experiment. I've never done this before this way. And then, of course, you change legs. I won't have to show you how to start it, but basically you're going to push out with your leg and push in with your hand and towel, and you'll feel this side of your arm tighten up, this side of your, of your abdomen, the lateral side, tighten, and you relax. And push again, and relax. And push again, and relax. Good, okay. So now I'm gonna stand up again. Um, you have the option to sit down and do these stretches, but on these stretches today, I'm going to show you the one standing up. So we're going to work the front of our hips and the backs of our thighs, like I am in class most of the time. And here we go. Oopsie daisy. I'm going to turn my body and I'm going to walk over. Kim, should I walk to the mirror or don't walk to the it's mirror? It's okay. It's okay? She's the boss, so. Okay. So I'm going to place my hands on a stable surface, maybe it's your kitchen counter, maybe it's a piece of furniture, the back of a chair, and actually I'm backing up. I'm going to get the chair because I've been talking about the chair the whole time. Why not do the chair? Okay, so you're going to move to the side of the chair and you're going to first take your right leg out in front of you. I'm lining it up, in my case, with the front of my chair. My back leg is further back, and I'm going to bend both knees slightly, keep my body upright, and I'm going to feel that stretch in the front of my, front of my left hip. Woo! I'm going to turn so you can see me, so I don't have to make Kim move all over the place. And my body is upright, and... I'm feeling that stretch. Now for an additional stretch, whichever leg is behind you, you're going to bring that arm up alongside your head if you can. I know some of you might be here, ideally here, or put your head on your shoulder, and then you're going to tip over and a little bit back. So this is a more advanced stretch. It might not be for everybody, so some of you might have just be standing still without using your arm overhead. Okay. I usually repeat that twice, especially now when everyone's sitting so much. You should repeat it twice, at least twice. And then I'm going to switch legs. And this time I am going to bring my other leg forward, back leg also facing forward. I'm going to bend my knees, keep my body pretty much upright. I feel the stretch in the front of my other hip. My other hip isn't as tight, so the sensation is different. It's not wrong, it's just different. And my back leg, that means I would have to let go of my chair. And I bring my arm up. I lean over and lean back a little bit, and that deepens the stretch. And then I smile, because the sun's coming out. Don't look up, you'll get, don't look up. And I'm gonna bring my arm down. Repeat that a minimum of twice for at least 15 to 20 seconds. All right, the last and final stretch. The backs of your legs, your booty. Okay, stand with your hands on your chair, step back. Your feet could be a little bit apart, be easier on your hips, or your feet could be closer. Closer it's gonna be a little bit more, you'll feel more of a stretch in the back of your legs. If your legs are further apart, you'll still feel it, but you know, have your feet wherever you want to have your feet. I don't want to tell you. I get my tushy back. I'm bringing my head to at least where my elbows are. If I'm up here, I'm sure you have your reasons, you'll still get a stretch. 
but ideally if you can go down a little lower, pull in your tummy a little bit and push your hips back. This is such a great hamstring stretch and for your back. I can be here for at least 20 seconds. You don't necessarily have to be here that long. Slowly come up, walk your feet in. Okay, roll your shoulders up, back, and down. Again, up, back, and down. And if you want to stretch out your arms a little bit, you can go back to this stretch. Either your hands are behind your ears or they're on your shoulders. And pull your elbows back. Or in this case, you can do this version. Pull back, get a nice stretch in the front of your shoulders across your chest. And relax down. It's over. I loved it. I hope you loved it. Give me your feedback. I love, I miss you all. I'll do another exercise video. I promise to make you smile and feel good. Mwah. Bye.